Hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, excellent. We can hear you perfectly. Okay. How are you? Fine, and you? Good, good. Thank you. How, How was your day? You? Uh, <laughs> I go for. I go first, but I, I'm going to be short. Well, okay. uh, I did some classes, teaching, and then I went to do a grass. I went to cut my neighbor's grass. Okay, okay. This is your new work. This is my new. They call me. It, all the all the houses in the pasaje. They're like, okay. please come uh -huh. over here, cut a grass, because it's been two months. Nobody has done, you know. Yes, yes. The grass. <laughs> so they're calling me, and well, that's it. You 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 win more money. Yeah, I made twenty dollars. Oh, okay. Thank God, man. Thank God. Yeah. Okay. What about you? You're doing well, account, uh, accounting work, right? Yeah. For example, it, it, this is the account of my of the office, uh, okay. the family office. Okay. This is your family's business. Yeah. Uh, we are uh, uh, lawyers. Uh -huh. in my okay. And we it, we are going to prepare a, a webinar tomorrow for tomorrow, and and. And well, I I spend all the day in this activity. Mm, okay, very very good. Thank you, thank you for telling us, man. You you're a professional, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, excellent. Yeah. So that look, your your English is gonna help you so much, you know, because there's yes, more I, more I, training, more you can do it in English. <laughs> Yes, because it's it's very necessary necessary for my career. Definitely. And yes. well, you, in in my career, you have a translate uh, yeah. documents mm -hmm. to Spanish, and oh, okay. and well, it's very necessary. Good, good. So te so te voy a dar una una eh, cómo se llama un tip. Okay. Eh, ya cuando tú tengas tu un inglés que te sientes mucho más cómodo, más avanzado. Lo primero que tienes que hacer es tomar el TOEIC. Entonces, okay. eh, tomar el TOEIC, eh, tratar de llegar al... Tomar un curso de TOEIC primero, porque es un examen bastante largo. Eh, y después, ya con eso, tú puedes eh, buscar... Hay ciertas academias que dan programas para, para, para entrenarte en la traducción de, de idiomas. Documentos. De, de documentos, exacto. Eh, por ejemplo, ICA... Eh, okay. y otras y otras instituciones eh, por veces de, del, del gobierno como Insafor aquí que ustedes están también con Insafor ellos le pueden ayudar en buscar okay. un curso de, de eso verdad ok thank y eso, you y con eso te, eso te va a ayudar mucho en tu en tu carrera verdad en tu en tu, en tu profesión definitivamente yes thank you ok hello Nineve how are you Fine. <laughs> good, good. I'm a little, little tired. I was playing with my nephews in a little pool. Yes. That I have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, good. In the afternoon. Nice. <laughs> nice. Excellent. Okay. What else? Uh, who else do we have here? Bessie. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Uh, so much work to make okay. at home. Okay. But here we are. Good, good. <laughs> Who else do we have? William, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Jose. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Good to hear you. Yeah, thank you. Me too. Okay. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, very good. You guys are ready? Yes. 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 Right. Yes. Okay, so, uh, lo que quiero hacer es un repaso de los 
Prim, bueno, en el inglés, eh, como les comenté, hay 12 tiempos de verbos, ¿verdad? Eh, diferentes, lo que le llamamos los verb tenses. Okay. Ahora, solo puedes hablar en tres diferentes eh, zonas de tiempo, por decir, pasado, presente y futuro. Pero en, en el inglés tú va, vamos a ver que hay varias formas de hablar en el, el futuro, varias formas de hablar en el pasado, presente igual. Eh, se usan para diferentes propósitos. Entonces, ustedes ahorita están pues, intermedio, pre-intermedio, entonces eh, creo que pueden eh, entender la lección de ahora hasta la, los, los seis primeros tiempos. Ok. All right, so let's go. I'm going to share my computer with you. Okay. I want to focus on this document that we have here, okay? Uh, so we have simple and we have continuous. The simple present, uh, pardon, the simple tense. The simple tense has three. Y, los, y, y nosotros usamos en inglés lo siguiente, esta combinación de palabras. Simple past, simple present, simple future, okay? Ahí van tres. Ahí son tres tiempos. Eh, puedes invertir el nombre también. Past simple, present simple, future simple. It's the same. Hi, however you want to say it, it's the same. I like to say simple past. Simple past, simple present, simple future, we have three. And then we have continuous, continuous. Past continuous, present continuous, future continuous. So we have three more, okay? Y ahí están los que vamos a estudiar, okay? Now, in sentences, you can have positive sentences, negative sentences, question sentences, en algunos casos, WH questions, okay? So, simple past, uh, do you remember? Uh, did yes do you remember did okay yes all right very good remember that uh, we can have do or did do present did past okay now no voy a eh, voy a incorporar los verbos auxiliares solo cuando sea necesario okay so I'm going to use a regular verbs in English. For example, in the past, I say I played baseball. I played baseball. Okay. Now, if I want to do a negative sentence, did I play? You can say I didn't play baseball. Or, yeah, I, I didn't play baseball, okay, for negative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for questions, you, did I... you can say, did you play baseball? Okay. Did you play baseball? We have there, uh, did. Eh, quedémonos aquí, no voy a ir a WH todavía, but do you understand here what verb am I using? I'm using the past, simple past. Yeah. Okay. Played. ¿Cómo lo convierto en el pasado? ED, right? ED. Okay. Now, what about here? Present simple. Present simple or simple present. I play baseball. Yes. Very good. I play baseball. Okay. Negative. I, know. I, I don't play. play. Okay. Question. With do. Question. Play. Do you play baseball? Do you play baseball? 
do you play baseball? Uh -huh. Si quieres preguntarle a alguien, ¿eh? Very good. Okay. Now, eh, let's go to the future. Let's go to the future. I después regreso por the WH. Let's go to the future. I will Working play. Wheel, right? Wheel. I will play baseball. Right? Um, what about negative? I will not play Fun. I will not play baseball or you Fun. can will say it. won't. Won't es el, la, contrac el, la contracción y negativo de will not. Will not. I won't play baseball. Okay. And then for questions, we have to begin with will. Um, will you play baseball? Now I can say, agregarle eh, una time expression. Will you play baseball tomorrow? So I am talking about the future. Se entiende mejor, verdad? Cuando usamos la, la expresión de tiempo, the time expressions. Will you play baseball tomorrow? Will you play baseball on the weekend? So, normally in English, we use time expressions. Nos ayuda a entender el tiempo. Okay? Now, can I do questions? Can I do questions? Yes. Okay? I can do questions. For example, aquí usamos did. What? Why did you play? What did you play? Baseball. Mm, I, why? Entonces vamos a usar por qué. Correcto, podemos usar por qué. Mm. Why did you play baseball? Very good, very good, very good. Okay, can we do a question here? Yes, yes, definitely. What can be a question that we use? I have to use do. Where? What do you what? What do you play like? baseball? Mm -hmm. what Voy a cambiar un poquito la pregunta. What do you wear to work? Mm -hmm. Y en este caso, si, si alguien me hace esa pregunta, voy a responder en el simple present. For example, I wear a shirt and a tie to work. I wear jeans and boots very good so uh what about will questions with will um, and wh what what will you do what would you cook tomorrow check it out yes sir uh-huh Eh, ahí, justamente ahí, no se podría poner como where. También usar el where. Where would, sí. you... Where would you cook tomorrow? Ahí te, estarías preguntándole, ¿dónde vas a cocinar? Exacto. Pero puedo usar what. ¿Y will qué significa? Will? Will, en eh. el anterior te dice, what do you wear to work? Uh -huh. What do ah wear? Yeah. Um, eh, eh, lo que tú te vas a usar de ropa. Wear. Mm -hmm. For example, si yo respondo aquí, tú me haces esa pregunta, yo respondo. I wear jeans and boots. Mm -hmm. ¿Es como la ropa de vestir o exactamente? Sí. Un, yo me pongo. Es como decir, yo me pongo. Yo me pongo jeans y y, y, y botas. What do you wear to work? Maybe you're a mechanic, for example. What do you wear to work? I wear jeans and boots. Botas, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Very good. So, questions? Hasta ahí? No. No? No. Entonces ya... Eso lo están refrescando, ¿verdad? Esto, es, algunos de estos ya, 
lo vieron en, en, uh, en el primer nivel. Ok, so, past continuous. Past continuous, uh, para que podamos entender un mejor, voy a empezar con el present. Present continuous. You can say present continuous and continuous present. Hay otra forma de decirlo también, se llama el progressive, progresivo. So you can say present progressive or present continuous. Okay. In this one, what are you doing right now? Uh -huh. I am going starting. English. Yes. Studying English. Okay. So, es lo que estás haciendo ahorita. Acción continua en este momento. Now, do you remember the structure? We have to use the verb to be. Aquí vamos a usar el verb to be and ing. Okay? Now, para seguir la línea del ejemplo que estábamos haciendo, I am playing baseball. Okay, very good. Uh, playing baseball. Mm -hmm. I negative. I am, I am not. not playing. Very good. Okay. And a uh, question. Oh. Voy, a, voy a cambiar am and I'm going to say are you. Oh, are you playing base, baseball? Yes, very good. Are you playing baseball? Very good. Por, cambié el verb to be de am a are porque no me puedo preguntar yo mismo. Am I playing baseball? Ahí estaría yo hablando conmigo mismo. Okay, very good. So, if I use am here, the verb to be in the present, what is the verb to be in the past? Past. Was I was playing. Play. Yes. Uh huh. I mean, G. Very good. Very good. Uh, in negative. I was not. Was not. Okay. Question. Was. Usemos el ejemplo este que está aquí. Para no hablarnos a nosotros mismos así en primera persona. Were right. you playing baseball? Yes, very good. Excellent. Excellent job. Okay. Now, will, for the continuous, eh, tiene dos opciones. Okay, dos formas de decirlo. Okay. Le voy a enseñar el que está en la lección ahora. Okay. I am going to play baseball. Future. Vamos a usar verb to be and then going to. Okay. I'm not uh, going to play. Yes. What about uh, this one here? Uh, negative. I am not going to play baseball. And then question in the future with going to? Are you? Uh, are you going to play baseball? Yes, very good, Veronica. Are you going to play baseball? Okay. And hay otra forma. Les enseño. Yes. <laughs> yes. Please. Porque tal vez ya, ya lo han usado. You can say, I will be playing baseball. I will play. Do you see? I will be playing. I use will. Will. Will be. Y después viene el ING. Okay. I will not be playing baseball tomorrow. Ah, no, sorry. I will not be playing baseball tomorrow. Y siempre es bueno ponerle una expresión de tiempo al final. Okay? 
a question for with Will. Will you be playing baseball tomorrow? Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Entonces me, me faltan WH. Okay. So, hasta aquí. ¿Estamos bien? Yes. Yeah. yes. Are we good? Questions here? The important thing is that you know how to do. Uh, the important thing is that you know how to do a, a sure. positive, negative, and questions. Si ustedes ven, cada uno de los tiempos tiene esas tres funciones. Positive, negative, and question. Entonces, es, es bueno que ustedes puedan armar este cuadrito con positive, negative, and question. No es suficiente solo positive sentences. It's also important to do negative and questions. What were you playing? What were you cooking? Okay, I'll put aside any more him playing. What were you playing? Okay. O puedo tal vez ampliarla. Where were you playing baseball? ¿Dónde estabas jugando? Where? Uh, when are you playing baseball? Okay. Question. And then what questions with going to? What are you going to do tomorrow? What? Perdón. Okay. Very good. Very good. So, ¿le voy a mandar este cuadrito? Yes, please. I'll send it to you. Pictures. Thank you. Uh, Repasamos simple past, I played baseball. Simple present, I played baseball. Simple future, I will play baseball. Continuous, a past, I was playing baseball. Continuous present, I am playing baseball. Continuous future, usando going to, I am going to play baseball. Continuous future, usando will be, I will be playing baseball. All right. Questions? The future feature is mm -hmm. only future. It's uh, only I will play baseball. I will. A uh, qual future? Simple future? Mm. Ah, ah, no. Okay, okay. I forget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, sorry. No I problem. Forget. Okay, preguntas? Question, guys? No? You can do it. Okay? Si pueden armar este cuadrito, entonces son intermediate English. Very good, okay? Es una, es una de las pruebas. Cuando hacemos una prueba oral en la academia, normalmente yo le pregunto a la persona, What did you do yesterday? What are you going to do tomorrow? Y quiero ver si puedo usar, ¿verdad? Y así yo voy a medir si esa persona puede usar el simple y el continuous. All right. Very good. Questions? All right. So let's go watch the video. Now, now uh, the video is only the continuous future, but um, I think we can watch it and we can learn more. Solo quería poner como, como ese fundamento y repaso. Okay. Is everybody finished with the platform? Casi? No, almost. Almost. Are you in section five? Yes? No. 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 <laughs> remember, remember you have the, the test, right? We have a final test in the platform. Okay, so, haciendo planes. What are you going to do tomorrow? I am going to give 
a demonstration. I am going to give a presentation. I am going to, to cook, okay? So let's watch this video. Teacher. I can't hear it. Oh, perdón. No, no activé el sonido. Okay. The Zoom. Okay, sorry. Let's do it. Hi, ready to start? This demo study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner okay did you hear some of the plans uh, that they were making what did they use for example uh, what are you going to do tonight and then the person says I am going to a soccer match with my brother I am going to very good are you doing anything tomorrow? We could do then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I am going to work until five. I am going to work. I am going to cook. I am going to study. Okay. Uh, let's let's talk right now between us. Let's practice. Uh, everybody, tell me what you're going to do tomorrow one thing that you're going to do tomorrow i am going to i'm going to to play video game okay very good diego I'm says go i'm going to play video game marco i'm going to work tomorrow good Nineve? i'm going to clean my son's room very good veronica what are you going to do tomorrow I'm going to put the breakfast. Very good. Cook breakfast, right? Cook breakfast, yes. Very good. You can say also make. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to make breakfast. Uh, Bessie, what are you going to do tomorrow? I am going to make the dinner. Very good. Uh, Carlos, Mendez, what are you going what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to work. Tomorrow. Very good. William, what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to call tomorrow. Okay. Hey, Jose Luis, what are you going to do tomorrow? I go to shopping. I'm going to, entonces en ese caso puedes decir, I'm going to shop. Shop. Mm -hmm. It's not, oh, okay. Or I'm going to go buy food. I'm going to a go to the grocery so a grocery store mm -hmm. Bye. okay oh. very good andrea what are you going to do tomorrow i am going to play tomorrow very good and alex finally what are you going to do tomorrow i'm going to have some meetings excellent okay very good so usan el going to now cuando se acuerda regresando al, al cuadrito Les, les enseñé cómo hacer future, simple future, I mean, sorry, continuous future. ¿Se acuerdan que le dije pueden usar I'm going to play baseball or I will be playing baseball? Yeah. ¿Se acuerdan? Eh, entonces, ¿cuál, ¿cuándo uso going to y cuándo uso will be teacher? ¿Ok? Como regla general, ¿verdad? No es 
algo que tienen que hacer así siempre. Ustedes cuando van a hablar de planes o predicciones en el futuro, you can say, I am going to. Okay? One more time, one more time let me explain. When you're talking about predictions or you're talking about plans, you can say, I'm going to. Okay? ¿Cuál usan así los, los americanos en conversación? Normal conversation, like just friends talking. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to, es que se usa un poquito más. All right, very good. El otro no está mal. Sí, el otro no está mal. Lo pueden usar. It's okay. All right. For, sorry. Uh, uh, Will is maybe more formal or not? Yeah, uh, Will is good when you're talking about action. Okay. okay? For example, um, alguien te da un consejo and they tell you, you know, you need to stop drinking Coca-Cola. It's bad for you. You say, yes, I will stop. <laughs> I, I will not stop. I will not stop, yeah. I like, I like soda too. I like it very much. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I'm going to, we can use for plans. All right, very good. So, aquí solo estoy cubriendo los videos. Tal vez ya los vieron. Y está bien. Y aquí lo, lo pueden como, pueden aplicarlo el, 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 lo que les enseñé. Y sacar cualquier duda que ustedes tengan. So, this is the next video. Hi. So, are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is plus verb plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want. Okay, very good. Questions? Preguntas? No, right? It's pretty much what I showed you. Now, I want you to help me with this exercise. Let's do it together after Teacher. this. Uh -huh. 
Teacher. Yes. Este, no, no, este, yo tengo duda con el ejercicio 5.4, que a mí no me sale. Ok. Y ya voy a ser el going to y no me... Okay. No me funciona, no sería que no me podría ayudar a explicar ya te, al menos uno. Ya te la, te la voy a proyectar, se la voy a proyectar ahí. Ok, Thank very you. good. Now, estas oraciones que están aquí are mixed. They're out of order. So, I want you to help me. ¿Cómo puedo poner estas oraciones en orden? Where is first? Yes, very good. Deja ver qué creo que puedo escribir aquí. Ah, I have to put it where. <laughs> Pensé que tenía que escribir. Let me see. I think it's good. Ah, okay. There you go. Okay, okay. All right. Where, where are you? Where are two you going? Going. Going. going to, to, go. to go for lunch. For oh, lunch. Hey, you get. Yo pensé que tenía que escribir. <laughs> All right, you guys are good. Okay. Esto les va a ayudar a, a recordarse la estructura. Remember, going to. Es abajo. What is the... Okay, the next one. Yeah. What is, is, is going? Uh, what? What time? Is, what time is? The is the film. What time is the film? Is, ya tengo is going. Is the, going to, is going. Ah, yes, going. Is going. going. No. No. What the, time, time is the film? I think the film is the time is going. Is the going film to star? Going, going to, to start. Ahí está la orden. What time is the film going to start? Mm -hmm. Es que en este caso tenemos un sujeto bien largo que es the film. Okay. No estoy usando he, she, they. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do this one. This is a question. Are. So las preguntas empieza con el verb to be, right? Or WH. Are you, you, you going, going to, to give, give Jill a present. present? Good job. Excellent. Number four. How? Question, question, right? So I have to start with the WH. How many? Many. Cuantos? Uh -huh. How many? How many people? Or people are going, going to come to come tomorrow. Yes. How many people are going to come tomorrow? Good job. Number five. Is. Mm -hmm. It's a question, right? So, aquí es una pregunta. No tengo WH question, so I have to use the um, verb to be. Mm -hmm. Is John? Is John? Going? Yes. No. Is John? Shopping? Going, ah, Go. is Jan going, going, going to, ahí está. Shopping. Is John going to? Go. Go. To go shopping. Shopping. In London next weekend. In London next weekend. So it's future, right? Porque la pregunta está hablando del next weekend. Is Jan going to go shopping in London next weekend? Okay, very good. The next one is nor normal sentence. Okay. We. We. 
Aren't, aren't, aren't going, going to, aren't going to stay, to stay at a hotel. A hotel. hotel. Very good. Okay. Y quiero que noten algo. Después de going to, viene un verbo normal. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Our parents. Our. Our parents. Parents. Our parents. Aren't. Aren't. Going. Going. Aren't. To. Come. Um, on, on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. On Sunday. Good job. Okay. Number eight. It's a question. So we have to start. Are you? Are you? Are. Are you? Are you learn. Are you going? Going to? Learn? Spanish? Spanish. Are you going to learn Spanish? Before you holiday? Before? Yeah. Before your holiday. Good job. Excellent. You guys, 100%. All right. Activity, speaking. Um, let's go to groups, okay? This is the activity that we're going to do. Eh, quiero que busquen tres cosas que la persona con la que están hablando va a hacer mañana. Three okay. plans. Three plans. And then, eh, ustedes me van a decir después qué va a hacer esa persona. So, tengan cuidado mm -hmm. con los sujetos. Ya no me pueden decir, I am going to. No. Tienen que decir. All right. Very good. So, we're going to find out three plans. We okay. have nine, nine people. Let's do a grupo de tres. Tres de tres. Okay. Okay. Let's go to groups. Alex, are you there? Alex, very good. Hello. Okay, very good. Pueden hacer un, eh, un triangle. Verónica, you ask Diego. Diego, you ask Alex. Alex, you ask Verónica. Pueden hacer así okay? un triangle. All right. Good. You have to ask, pregúntele hasta encontrar tres planes. ¿Qué va a hacer esa persona? Okay. Um, then, um, for the dinner, I'm going to cook a chillax. <laughs> In English, yes. Okay. okay. In the night, in the dinner, I am cook. I am going to cook enchilada. Okay. Enchiladas. Can see. <laughs> Pueden hacer un triangle. Nineveh, you ask Betsy. Betsy, you ask uh, Jose. Jose, you ask Nineveh. I. <laughs> You can do a triangle. Okay. Okay, basic. What about you? What are you going tomorrow? <laughs> I I will be working tomorrow. Yes. So, what are you going to do tomorrow? Now, pueden hacer un triangle. Okay. Uh, Carlos, you ask William. William, you ask Andrea. Andrea, you ask Carlos. Okay. Uh, a question, teacher. Uh -huh. En el caso de si utilizo el will, tengo que utilizar el verbo en, en progresivo. Sería, por ejemplo, si yo digo, I will be working tomorrow. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. Va a usar el verbo en, en, 
eh, por ejemplo, uh -huh. I will be. Ah, sí, ese, ese es el otro, ¿verdad? Que, que les uh -huh. enseñé. Uh -huh. going, going to... yes. Así estaría yeah. bien. Teacher. Entonces ahí vas a usar el verbo uh -huh. progresivo. Uh -huh. Y si Very usas good. going to, I'm going to work. Ahí como quieras, como quieras. Solo que esta lección era going to, pero como quieras. Ah, no sé. Entonces, I'm going to work, work tomorrow. Yes, very good. Good job. So, tienen que encontrar tres planes de cada uno. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Está bien este example, teacher? ¿Cuál? Puede ver. Eh, en la eh, segunda creo que le hizo falta el... Ah, I am going, eh, la primera es I am will be working. No, ahí tienes que quitarle am. Quitarle am. Very good. Ah, okay. And then the next one, I, I, am, I am going. I'm going to work tomorrow. So then you start the verb to be. Eh, I am going to work tomorrow. Okay, Andrea, que estás allí, en el grupo de, de WhatsApp, puse la respuesta de esa sección, ¿ok? Thank you, teacher. Ahí la ves después. All right, very good. Eh, William, en uh -huh. going, hizo falta la G, la G al final. Going. Going to. Ok, ok. Correct. Eh, solo les doy un tip traten de no enfocarse en escribir sino solo memorizar las, las respuestas y yo le, y después ustedes me dicen qué dijo el, la otra persona so okay. you don't have to write only ask questions right now So, for example, Carlos, what are you going to do tomorrow in the morning? I am, I am going to take, uh, tomar el, tomar el carro. I am going to mm -hmm. take the car. Take the car. Okay. All right. What are you going to do tomorrow in the afternoon? Okay. Uh, afternoon. I, I, am, I am going to finish, uh, finish work. Very good. What are you going to do tomorrow at night? <laughs> Carlos, hola. What are you going to do tomorrow at night? Mm. I'm going to. Are you sleepy, teacher? Okay, so how do you say I am sleeping? No, eso no es lo que aprendimos ahora. How, how do you use the structure? What is the correct structure? Uh, sería, I am going to wax the news. Very good. Good job, Carlos. All right. So, vieron. Morning, tengo... afternoon, and night. Uh, yes, Andrea. Bueno, ya tengo, bueno, tres tengo. Le voy a decir, I am going to go to the supermarket. Okay. I am going to the lunch in the afternoon. Okay. I am going to a student in the English. I am going to a student in English. Study, right? A study mm -hmm. English. Very good. Good job. Okay, excellent. So, hey, Carlos, tú vas a reportar en lo que dijo Andrea. Eh, William. Tú vas a reportar lo que dijo Carlos y Carlos, tú vas a reportar lo que dijo William. Triangle, triangle. Okay. Yes. Come on. No tengan miedo de, de hablar. 
What are you going to do? She wants to uh, play with you and then... Oh, one... yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, very good. You guys are ready? Yes. Uh, Betsy, who do you who did you speak to? I asked Nineve. Okay, tell me three things Nineve is going to do tomorrow. Okay, Nineve in the morning. She is going to clean the room. Very good. Uh huh. Uh, and in and in the afternoon, uh -huh. she is going to be on English class. Yes. And the third one thing. She is going to make uh, in the dinner. She is going to cook enchiladas. Very good. Good job. Okay, Jose. Yeah. Jose Luis. Who did you speak to? Uh, with nobody. <laughs> Con todo. Con nadie. No, no because I, I was a problem, a technical problem here with oh. my computer. So uh, I, I don't listen nothing from. Okay. Ninibe and Bessie, <laughs> only, they, only uh, Bessie asked me. Okay, okay. No problem, Jose. <laughs> so tell us, uh, what are you going to do tomorrow in the morning? Morning. In, in the morning. Uh, teacher, uh, un paréntesis. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Estaba viendo el, 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 el ejercicio 5 que hicimos juntos, o el que estábamos haciendo ahí de, de poner... Mm -hmm. Y yo estaba preocupado si yo estaba equivocado. Corríjame. Yo le dije, I, I going to go shopping tomorrow. Y usted me dijo que yo lo cambiara por shop o buy o the another one. Eh, but I see it's the same. It's similar at the number five. So I, I am confused. Okay. Because I use, uh, I use a lot. Uh, when I say uh, I, I'm going to 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 go shopping, pero yo uso más will. I will go to shopping, pero me gustaría saber si estoy gramaticalmente. Uh, well, no sé si voy a hablar bien. Eh, me gustaría saber si estoy gramaticalmente mal en esa parte, porque mm -hmm. yo le dije a usted I'm going to go shopping. I me am, gustaría saber si estoy incorrecto. To go shopping. Uh -huh. Porque eh, lo vi. Mira, ajá, mira, porque lo vi. mira el chat. Mira el chat. Ajá, ajá. Eh, del grupo. Ok. Entonces ahí tengo dos ejemplos. Uno usando going to. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Otro usando el, 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 el simple, el future simple, simple future. Y estás diciendo lo mismo. Uh -huh. I am going to go shopping tomorrow. Uh -huh. I will go shopping. Tomorrow. No, pero usted me corrigió por shopping, no sé si por ING de shop, shopping y me dijo shop. So, ah, pero, pero ¿cuál estaba ajá, ajá. usando de, de eso? Porque, porque yo le dije a usted, I, ah, I, es, es que ajá, hay ajá, otra, ajá. es esta, mira, I will shop. I will shop. I will shop. Sí, do you see? I will oh, shop. Yeah. I will shopping. Oh, ok. Ajá. Sí, porque. Ok. Pero si quieres hablar de. Planes futuros es mejor going to. Ok. So, mm -hmm. I need to change for will. I'm sí. going. Ahí hay tres opciones, pero si vas a hablar de planes futuros, es mucho mejor eh, going. going. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Now, eh, normalmente Thank los you. americanos, ellos van a como contraer las palabras y como hablar así como un poquito. Entonces, hay uno que dice... I'm gonna go. Nunca he escuchado eso. A cada rato. Ok, ok. So, lo que están haciendo ahí es que están haciendo un word blend mm -hmm. mezclado con un inglés un poquito calle, pero no es Correcto. informal. <ríe> informal. <ríe> pero, pero, honestly, no es malo, sino que simplemente lo usas en, en su contexto, en un lugar normal. Tienes okay. que ver dónde lo vas a usar, ¿verdad? Si estoy hablando con mi chero, whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. But if I'm speaking to my office wow. or, you know. Oh, okay. Boss. Thank yeah, you, teacher. So, okay, very good. So, uh, Jose Luis, yeah, what, what are you going to do tomorrow in the morning? Uh, I, 
I'm going to cut the glass. Cut the, the grass. Uh -huh. Cut. Cut, cut the, grass. the grass. Yes, very good. Of the garden. Very good. What are you going to do in the afternoon? Oh, I will, uh, uh, I think so. I will cook the the dinner. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cook the dinner. Very good. What are you going to do at night time? I'm going to watch a movie. Very good. Excellent. All right. <laughs> ¿Quién falta? Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Yeah, uh, Bessie, she going, uh, in the morning she going to make her breakfast. Mm -hmm. okay. And then she going to work. And mm -hmm. for the dinner she going to cook pupusa. Okay, very good. No te olvides de usar el verb to be, she is going to. She's going to. <laughs> okay. Very good, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back to the room. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay, very good. So uh, we talked about future plans. Uh, the question is, what are you going to do? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going what are you going to do in the morning? What are you going to do in the afternoon? Siempre agregamos una time expression porque se entiende un poco mejor. Okay, so la estructura es, I am going to work. I am going to cook. Okay, very good. So I am um, con continue working on the, on the platform. Try to finish the test, the final exam. Traten de, de empezar a trabajar en eso ya. And then uh, el cuadrito que hicimos al inicio se lo voy a mandar. Okay. okay. Very good. good. Okay. All right, excellent. Y le voy a mandar extra practice. If you want to do like extra exercise, if you want to practice more grammatica with going to, um, ahí le voy a mandar. Okay. Okay, very good. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good, teacher. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.